My name is Ed Moses. I'm a painter, not an artist, and I'm not creative, and I don't express myself. I'm a mutator. I explore. So I'm from a history of shaman going way, way, way back, previous to the cave paintings, when man first discovered he existed. I grew up in Long Beach, California, and in junior high, I took mechanical drawing, and I liked drawing those lines and the per spaces and the proportion. But I had no inklings that I'd ever be an artist, not at all, or a painter even. So this friend of mine said, you've got to see this art teacher after I was getting C's and D's. I thought, man, where have you been all of my life? And I fell in love instantly. I immediately signed up for the class. Okay, he said, have at it, everybody. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm just sitting there like a fool. And I had to do something. So I took my fingers and stuffed them into the wells of these little tempera paints and did this finger painting all over the paper. So he got to me and he looked down at that, looked at me as I'm standing, sitting there with my fingers full of paint. Picked it off my thing, put it on this little shelf with a little, he said, now here's a real artist. Changed my life. After that, that was it. I put the mark down. Evidence that I existed with the paint. So it was a real primal act on my part, out of desperation, out of fear of humiliation, out of wanting to participate. But I used to work on one painting at a time. So it, spending night, all night long, sometimes I'd just chase this thing down a rat hole and the whole painting would just turn to shit and I wanted to die. I said, what if you work on a whole bunch of them at the same time and you lose a couple? So from then on, I've worked on anywhere from 10 to 25 paintings at a time. And I always, even to this day, throw out at least three quarters of them. They've got to hit that light. People say, well, you throw all those paintings away. Why don't you give me one? I said, well, I don't want to contribute to the cultural pollution as it already exists. So at least it's got to pass my test. But maybe you're letting one out that you don't even know. I said, well, it's the way it goes, right? How do you know when a painting is finished? When it lights up. That's when I know. Then I start working sort of the way that one came about. Then I get another one. And then suddenly I have enough and I call some art gallery and, and I say, I got 15 paintings. Do you want to do a show? Some of them do and some of them don't. So I was looking at a reproduction of a, a Mondrian. And when paint gets old, it crackles if it's a surface of a monochrome surface of paint. Even old Renaissance paintings, if they're done on a panel or something like that, they have these little fissures crack all over. And I said, that's it. What can I do to get those crackles big? So I started searching around. 
And then I remember when I used to take my kids to, to the burger place, Jack in the Box, they had secret sauce. So I went over and I got these big gallons of secret sauce. And I put a coat of paint down. And then I lathered it with secret sauce. And then I put another coat of paint on. And they made these big fissures all over. So when I discovered those things, I said, God, isn't that great? And I'll just make a whole face of it. It'll occupy the whole canvas. It'll be the visual event. But again, I didn't do it. I just hung out. I just hang out with it. And every once in a while, a miracle happens. And that kind of a miracle, sometimes we use the word magic or shamanism. I remember I did a drawing show where I did a wall and I had it printed. And then I had these little drawings that were the same print framed and put on the wall where the whole wall was done. So what's the painting? It's the drawing on the wall, is the wall of the painting, and the, and the little pictures in there are little pictures, pictures on the wall. So I like those fabrics, so I went over to a place called Linen Fabrics over on the corner, and I bought a bunch of yardage and I laid it out on these pieces of plywood and then canvases. I got a spray gun. I sprayed through them and they left the patterns on them. So I did a whole bunch of them. I said, oh, those look pretty good, but then I started bumping them up side by side and it made a whole kind of thing and I liked them. If you flop around like a fool in the muck, something might appear Boop. by chance. Mm -hmm. Then you might expand on that. That's a clue. But I like when it happens and I want to do it again and I keep exploring it. But how did it happen? We don't know. I love that. And that's the area where secret sauce lies. And yesterday's tomorrow was all that I knew.